everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Christine, and I will be leading you through a special 45-minute express version of Inferno Hot Pilates. As you know, it's a high-intensity class. It's really fun. We're going to get your heart pumping. Hopefully, you have a space heater on wherever you are. If not, maybe put on an extra layer so that you can generate a little bit more heat. But because it's 45 minutes, we're gonna go really fast. As always though, I will offer modifications, but we're gonna start by laying down. So go ahead and melt onto your mat and feel your body just disconnect. I'm going to lay here in my recline bound angle so that my hips can open up. I'll let you choose which version you want to lay in. You can lay like me or just straighten out your legs all the way. But wherever you are, Feel your body get heavy. Try not to move at all. And feel the entire length of your spine, your entire backside body press into the mat. So class always starts in this way so that you can take some time to clear your mind. When your mind is clear, you're able to focus a little bit more on the movements that you're making. And when you're able to focus on the movements you're making, you get a lot more out of the time that you are spending on your mat. So try and be mindful, not just of the movements that you make, but of your breath. And maybe take some time to set an intention for your practice now when you have something that you're working for, working towards, you have a little bit more incentive. Now, wherever you are with your breath, go ahead and exhale. Take a full six counts to inhale, filling up your lungs, feel your chest and your stomach rise, and then open up your mouth, exhale, sigh it out, feel your body get heavy on the floor. Make your next inhale the slowest one of your week so far. When you get to the top, take one more sip, and then open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. And just like that, we're gonna go right into our bridges. So bend your knees. Make sure your knees stack right over your ankles. You want your feet hip width distance apart. Just like we did on the warm up, your entire upper body is relaxed. So go ahead. Remember, we're going to squeeze and exhale to bring our hips up. You're gonna follow my counts. Keep your core tight so belly button is pulling into your spine. Get ready to lift in four, three, two, Lift your hips up and down. Exhale, inhale. So remembering all the things that you're trying to do as you do these hip lifts, right? You're keeping your core tight. You're exhaling, you're squeezing. You're also pressing your heels into the mat. So squeeze and lift. Come all the way up, all the way down. Exhale, inhale, lift, lower. So remembering your breath. Remembering to be mindful of the muscles that you're working. That pep talk I gave you at the beginning of class. Use it for the entire 45 minutes and you're going to feel a little bit different at the end of this workout. Great job. Squeeze tighter as you lift. Eight more and then we go into our calf raises. Seven. Last six. Your core is still super tight. Belly is into your spine. You're down to your last three. Give me two more. Squeeze tighter. Last one, bring your heels up and down, lift and lower. So your knees should still be over your ankles. Your hips are staying elevated. All you're doing here is driving your heels all the way up and down, lift, lower, exhale, inhale. Even though this is a calf raise, you're still keeping your core activated. So the entire 45 minutes, it is my hope that that's what you do. And I'm gonna remind you of it, so don't worry. Lift, lower, press your toes into the mat. Shoot your heels up as high as you can, and then remember to squeeze your booty. Don't let it go. Lift and lower. I keep looking at the camera like I can see you guys. That's what I'm gonna pretend. Exhale, lift, lower. Eight more. In seven, we're going into our pulses. Six, five, your last four, bring your heels up way higher. Three more, squeeze tighter, two, Last one, now pulse it out. Exhale, squeeze. Just like we did in the warm up, the entire length of your spine is pressing into the mat. Try to keep your upper body super relaxed so that all the energy you have goes right to your glutes. Squeeze tight, make this movement super tiny. Bring your heels up way higher and exhale. Lift, 
squeeze. The smaller the movement your hips make, the tighter you're squeezing, and that's what you're going for. You're generating all that heat in your lower body. So not just your booty, but also your hamstrings. Squeeze tighter, you're almost done. You have eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two, one, release. Ooh, bring your hips down, your knees to your chest. Rock from side to side, that's round one. We're only doing two rounds of bridges, so I want you to give it everything you've got for this last round. So feet are gonna come out mat width distance. If you don't have a mat, they're about outside shoulder width. Toes are out, heels are in. Full range lifts to start. Here we go in four, three, two. Lift your hips up and down. Exhale, inhale. So right away, because we did first round already, your outer thighs are super warm. You're going to feel a little bit challenged here, but remember your breath is going to get you through it. Anytime you feel like giving up, remind yourself of your intention. Remind yourself of the power of your breath. It's your superpower. Now that we're already almost done, squeeze harder for your last eight. Here it is, eight. Last seven, dig your heels into the mat, six more. In five, we go into our calf raises, four, press your heels into the mat, three, two more, squeeze tighter. Last one, bring your heels up and down, lift and lower, all the way up, all the way down. Exhale, exhale, how is that core? We're gonna do a little core check, everybody. Belly is into your spine. Your booty is squeezing as you do these hill lifts. Maybe just close your eyes Imagine the changes that you want to happen to your body. You're making them happen just by showing up. When you do the work, you're getting closer to that goal a little bit faster. So work hard here. Put in the work now so that you can relax later. Almost done. You have eight, seven. Drive your heels up way higher. Six, five more that we go into our pulses. Four, three. Press your toes into the mat. Two more. Last one, pulse it out, just pulse, pulse. Notice how small my movements are. So small that you're not even seeing my hips come up, right? That's what I want you all to look like. Squeeze a little bit more, make this movement about becoming closer to your butt cheeks. So your cheeks are squeezing in. Try to dig your toes into the mat even more so that your heels lift a little bit higher for your last eight, last six, five, four, three, in two, you're gonna go right to left, squeeze right, squeeze left, squeeze right, squeeze left. This is a grand finale, we're almost done. Eight more, seven, six, five, in four, we're going into our ab workout. Two, one, release, bring your hips down, your knees to your chest, rock from side to side. I almost forgot abs last time, not gonna happen today, all right. Drink water if you need. If not, I'm going to show you our ab exercises. First one, your hands are going to go behind your head. Bend your knees to tabletop, so 90 degree angles with your legs. Lift your shoulder blades off of the mat. First thing you do, straighten out your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bend. Straighten, lower, bend. Got it? You're only doing four rounds of this. Then we're going to go into jackknives. I'm going to show you my left side first. You're going to create a V with your body. So your arm is out at a diagonal. Your legs are out at a diagonal. Your top arm comes up and overhead. You're going to place your palms down so you can press your hands into the floor. As you exhale, you're going to lift your legs, tap your foot, come all the way back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You're going to do two on the left, two on the right, and then we're done. We're going to start with the first movement, 20 seconds first. 20 on, 10 off, hands go behind your head, elbows wide, set, go, 20 seconds. So lift your legs, lower down, and then bend. 20 seconds of this. Keep your lower back pressing into the floor, your chin off of your chest, and then again, core engagement, super important. Keep your thighs squeezed into each other, toes pointed, look up, breathe, change. Legs down, arms down. Open up your chest, you have 10 seconds here. It goes by really fast. Next round, set, go. Same movement, bend, straighten, lower. Try to pick up the pace once you get used to the movement. 
Try to lift your shoulder blades off of the mat a little bit more. Keep all that heat in your lower abs. Nicely done, guys. Four more seconds. Change. Whew. Legs down, arms down. Open up your chest. We're at the halfway point. Two more rounds to go. Hands behind your head. Bend your knees, set, go. Lift, lower. Bend, straighten, lower. Awesome. Keep your core engaged. Your belly button pulling into your spine, your lower back pressing into the floor. That's going to protect your spine. Keep your chin off of your chest. Look up a little bit higher. You're going to lift your upper body off of the mat for your last few seconds. Change. Whew, come all the way down. That was three. One more, and then we go into our jackknives. I'm so excited. Here we go. Hands behind your head. Bend your knees. Set. Go. 20 right here. Make this the best 20 seconds of your day so far. It's only going to get better. I promise. Keep working. Remind yourself of the strength you have. It's what brought you here. Rolling out your mat when it's such a beautiful day outside is seriously a challenge in itself, and you did it. Great job. Change. That was way longer than 20. Sorry. Extra credit. You're going to roll onto your left side body next. We're going into our side abs, or sorry, jackknives. So go ahead, create that V with your body. Bring your top arm up and overhead. 20 seconds. If you want to modify, just bend your knee and tap like that. Got it? Set. Go. 20 seconds. Keep your core engaged. You're rolling onto your left side hip. Your toes are pointed as a way to lengthen out your legs. Keep your right arm nice and straight and reach. Try to touch your toes. If not, your ankles are fine. Your shins are also cool too. Three, two, one, change. Woo, melt into your mat. Take a break. Ooh, relax, be still. Round two, let's do it. Set, go, 20 seconds. I told you they go by fast. You gotta make the most out of your 20 seconds. You gotta make the most out of your break. Finding the balance is what we're all about, right? It's all a part of the process. Five more seconds, pick it up if you can. Change, melt into your mat. I'm gonna turn the other way so that I can work my right side. Let's do it, 20 seconds, set, go. So you're working your side body. You're also strengthening and stretching out the other side. So lots happening just with one simple movement. Keep your toes pointed, spine long. If you smile, you get extra credit. Last three, two, one, release. Melt into your mat, open up your chest. We're already almost done, guys. Last round, and then we go into our planks. Set, go, 20 seconds. Keep your toes pointed. Try to come up a little bit higher, even if that means slowing it down. As you press your right hand into the floor, use that as leverage to come up a little bit higher. Exhale, tap those toes. Go for that reach. You have three, two, one. We did it. Take a break if you need. I'm going to massage my lower back. All right, our plank series. We're gonna go into our supersets. So you're gonna start in your side plank, go into your forearm plank, hold that for one minute, and we're gonna end by facing in the opposite direction. I'm gonna give you an extra credit opportunity for your side plank. Go ahead and roll onto your right side body to get set up, cross your left foot over your right. The extra credit once you get here is to go into your side plank and then lift your top leg and then tap it with your toes. So you wanna bring your arm up and overhead. Exhale as you tap right at the center, just like that. We haven't started the time yet though. You don't have to do it, it's not mandatory, it's just extra credit. 30 seconds, let's do it. Set, go. So if you're going into your side plank, hang out here just like this, it's only 30 seconds. If you want the extra credit, I'm gonna do it with you. Your hips are gonna stay hovering off of the floor and you're just sweeping your arm up and overhead. As always, your core is engaged, right? When you have that engagement, you have a lot more control over the rest of your body, a lot more stability. We're down to our last 10 seconds. You're gonna seamlessly transition into your forearm plank in four, three, two, one. Do it now, forearm plank. You have one minute, stack your shoulders over your elbows, 
drive your heels to the back edge of your mat, your feet should be about hip width distance apart. When we get to the halfway point, I'm gonna give you the option for extra credit. But for now, focus on your form. Dig your elbows into the mat. Keep the length in your spine. Extend through the crown of your head. So top of your head is inching closer to the top of your mat. Going in the opposite direction with your heels. We are now at the halfway point. If you want extra credit, you're just going to do heel lifts. So exhale, squeeze as you drive your heel up to hip height. Your hips should not be rocking. If your core is engaged, you're not gonna move at all. Get rid of the wobbles. We're down to our last 10 seconds. And then you're gonna roll onto your left side for another 30 second plank. Nicely done, everybody. Stick with it, keep your core engaged. Breathe nice and slow. Down to three, two, one. Go into your side plank. Work on your form first. Reach your hand up, or if you're going for that extra credit, do it right away. So remember, you're sweeping your arm up and overhead. You're framing your ear with your bicep. Core is engaged so that you can lift your hips up a little bit higher. Connect to your breath. Maybe squeeze your booty. Last five seconds already. Release, we're done. Sit on your booty. Drink some water if you haven't had any yet. While you drink, I'm gonna show you our first sequence in the standing series. We're gonna do three different set sequences today. The first, se first sequence is going to start with a combo move. You're gonna go into a squat, a reverse lunge, back to a squat, to your curtsy lunge. All right, that's a mouthful. Squat, reverse lunge, squat, curtsy. I'm gonna do two on the right, Two on the left, four rounds of your wide leg half burpees with a twist when you come up to the top. So feet are gonna be outside shoulder width distance apart. Toes are out, heels are in. Start by extending your arms up. Inhale, bend your knees, hands down, jump back. Feet come forward, reach up, squeeze, twist. When you squeeze your booty, your core is engaged. Your lower body should not be moving as you twist from side to side. Cool, four rounds of that. 20 on, 10 off. Get ready for that combo move. We're gonna start with the right side, all right? So it's squat, reverse lunge, squat, curtsy. Let's do it, set, go. Squat, reverse lunge, squat, curtsy. Great job. Just over and over again, try to stay low. Try to keep your shoulders and your hips squared to the mat. Down to your last five seconds already. Pick it up if you can. You have three, two, one. Stop where you are. Arms down both sides. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. You're doing fantastic, guys. Let's do it. Round two, set, go. Squat, reverse, squat, curtsy. When you go into your curtsy, very important not to let your hips open up. So work on that. I've got a mirror in front of me, so I'm cheating a little bit. If you have a mirror at home, use it. Come down lower for two, one, change. Nicely done, guys. Shoulders down away from your ears. Keep your spine long. Open up your chest. We're going to the other side. Set, go. Squat, reverse lunge, squat, curtsy. Try to come low with that curtsy lunge so that you can get into your hips just a little bit more. Your hammies. Should be on fire right about now. Last five seconds, push it until the end. Nicely done, you're almost done. Change, come up. <sighs> Open up your chest. One more round, same side. Set, go, squat, reverse, squat, curtsy. Building on that peach emoji, building all the strength, getting ready for summer bathing suit season. Come down lower, guys. We're already more than halfway through. Keep your chest open. Stay low for three, two, one. We did it. Arms down both sides. We've got those burpees. You can always modify by stepping back one foot at a time. Let's do it. Set, go. 20 seconds. Oh, don't forget that twist when you come up to the top. When you go into your twist, you got to squeeze your booty so that you have that foundation from the waist down, more than halfway through. Five more seconds. Last three, two, 
One, we're done, arms down. Shoulders away from your ears, keep your spine long. We're in this together, bring your arms up, round two, set, go, 20 seconds. Be light on your feet, keep your core super engaged, especially as you go into your planks so your hips do not drop. Eight more seconds. Smile when you come up to the top to burn a little bit more calories. Three, two, one. We did it, arms down, halfway through. Two more rounds, I'm sitting at the third round. Bring your arms up, set, go, 20 seconds. Do not forget your breath is your superpower, okay? Use it now, especially when you're doing these cardio moves. And then that squeeze is doing more than building strength in your body, remember, it's creating stability. Use it. Five more seconds. Reach up high, twist for three, two, one. You're done. That's round three. Awesome. Shoulders down away from your ears. Get ready for the grand finale. Last one. Arms up, set, go. 20. This is it for burpees. No more for the rest of class. But do everything you can to keep your body moving the entire time. There's only 10 more seconds. You've got it. Squeeze tighter than you've ever done for your last five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Fist pumps, high fives, so good. Treat yourself to a little bit of water. I'm gonna show you our next sequence. We're doing cardio, as always. We're starting with running man. Haven't done these in a really long time. Starting with your right leg forward, your left leg comes back. Kind of looks like you're going into a lunge. The most important thing, besides your breath, is keeping your right knee bent. So you wanna stay really low in this lunge. Your arms are gonna come up and overhead as you exhale. You're gonna bring your right elbow to your left knee. So watch, exhale, twist. Go back to your lunge. The lower you are, the more reps you can get in, the quicker you can go, the harder your heart is gonna be working. You're gonna do two rounds on the right, and then you're gonna go into a Side lunge into your curtsy lunge. So side lunge, curtsy. Two rounds of that on the right, and we're repeating it all over again on the left side. So running man, two rounds on the left, and then side lunge into your curtsy lunge on the left. I'll remind you, here we go. Running man first. So right leg is forward, left leg comes back. Bring your arms up and overhead. 20 seconds, set, go. Twist. Exhale every time your elbow and your left knee touch. Stay low, remember your right leg is at a 90 degree angle. You're pressing your right foot into the floor. Twist a little bit deeper for your last three, two, one. Change, come up to standing, that was one. Your right quad should be on fire right about now. That means you're doing it right. <sighs> one more round. Bring your arms up, bend your right knee, stay low, set. Go, you only have 20 seconds. I want you to make the most out of the 20 seconds that you're here. Really squeeze your right butt cheek and then keep your spine long. Extend through the crown of your head, you're almost done. I think you can go faster. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Change, come up to standing. Oh man, I hope you're all working as hard as I am. Megan, I know you're here. You better be working. Let's do it, side lunge to curtsy, set. Go, so side lunge, curtsy. Go into your side lunge, curtsy. I don't know why I'm not on my mat. Side lunge, curtsy, coming down really low when you bring your left leg back behind you. Last three, two, one, change. Come up to standing. Let's take a deep breath together. Mouth open, exhale, side out. One more, side lunge to curtsy, set, go. Side lunge, curtsy. Try to bring your left foot further back, but keep your hips continually squared to the side of your mat. Almost done, three more seconds. Change, awesome, come up to standing. Two rounds of running man on the left, and then that same combo right after that, arms up. Bend your left knee, set, go. Twist to the right. So now left elbow and your right knee will touch. I'm gonna show you from the side. 
you have that 90 degree angle with your left leg, keep your knee over your ankle. Spine stays long, last four seconds. Change, come up to standing. This cardio is kicking my booty today, guys. One more round, let's do it. Set, go. You only have 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20, right? It's gonna fly by. We're already almost at the halfway point. Stay strong. Remind yourself why you're here and then work a little bit harder. Five more seconds. Yes, you can. You have three, two, one. Two rounds of your side lunge and a curtsy, bending your left knee. Let's do it. Set, go. So side lunge, curtsy, side lunge, curtsy. So your right leg stays straight when you go into your side lunge. It bends when you go into your curtsy. You wanna make sure that your booty is pushing way back behind you and that you're coming down lower with every curtsy lunge. Change, come up. That's round one. One more round. I have to do this with you. I don't want to be lopsided. Here we go. Set, go. Side lunge, curtsy. Side lunge, curtsy. So you're pushing your booty way back. You're sitting down low so your left thigh becomes parallel to the floor. You've got it. Stay strong. There's only three seconds. Do not take a break. Change. You can have that break now. Open up your chest. Roll out your shoulders. I know I need it. Take a quick sip of water. The last sequence we're gonna do, we have three different exercises. We're gonna start with our plie squat. So feet are gonna be outside shoulder width distance apart, toes are out, heels are in. Your hands are gonna go behind your head. As you inhale, you're gonna bend your knees. As you exhale, come up to standing, twist to one side. Inhale lower, exhale twist in the opposite direction. So you're just going back and forth, two rounds of that. Then you're gonna do more lunges, starting with your right foot forward, left leg comes back. You're gonna go down into a reverse lunge, one pulse. When you come up, you're going to hinge at your hips and pulse your left leg back two times. Reverse lunge once, pulse up twice with your left leg straight. Two rounds on the right, two rounds on the left. The last thing you're gonna do is cardio by way of your mountain climbers, just two rounds. Exhale every time your knees come up to your chest. If you need a break from the wrist work, you can lay on your back and do bicycles instead. All right, let's get started. Plie squats with a twist, only two rounds. Bring your hands behind your head. Dig your heels into the floor the entire time. Let's do it, set, go. Inhale lower, exhale twist. Keep your hips square to the side of your mat. Remember, the tighter you squeeze your booty, the stronger the base you have. You need that strong base so that you can twist a little bit deeper. That's really what this is about, strengthening your obliques. Change. That's round one. Ah, we're doing so good. There's only one more. Hands go behind your head. Let's find a new depth with our squat. Set, go. Come down low, squeeze and twist. Nicely done, everybody. Extend through the crown of your head so your spine is long. Feeling the stretch in your side body. Feeling the strengthening in your legs, your booty. Almost done. Do not stop. There's three, two, one. Change, we are done with that move. Right leg comes forward, left leg comes back. So just a reminder, it's a lunge. Hinge forward, pulse twice. Let's do it. Hands on your hips, set. Go, lunge, pivot, pulse, lunge, pulse. Great job, everybody. Keep your spine long, core tight. Five more seconds. Keep that bend in your right knee as you hinge and then strengthen your quads as you reach your toes back. Change, that's round one. <sighs> one more round, exact same side. Let's do it, set, go. Lunge, hinge, pulse. Lunge, hinge, pulse twice. Try to come down low with your lunge. Keep your left leg muscles super engaged, especially as you pulse. 
and go for that lengthening with your left leg. Almost done, change. That's it, I'm gonna show you from the other side. Bending your left knee this time, right leg stays straight, set, go. So it's a lunge, hinge, pulse. Lunge, hinge, pulse. It's never really about speed in here unless we're doing the cardio moves. So especially for a movement like this where you're using a little bit of your balance, don't worry about speeding through it. Last one, change, come up to standing. One more round, then we end with cardio before we go into active recovery. Set, go, lunge, hinge, pulse. So we're getting a lot of lower body action today. Shocking, my favorite area to work on. Your core is also getting lots of love just by keeping that engagement by sucking your stomach in. Last few seconds, change. Two rounds of mountain climbers. Then we go into our active recovery, let's do it. Go into your high plank, set, go. 20 seconds, that's it. Keep your hands pressing into the floor. Your shoulder blades are coming apart. Feel that rounding in your upper back. We're at the halfway point now, so go faster. Bring your knees closer to your chest. Stay lifted and light on your toes. Four more seconds. Change, sit on your heels. Roll your wrists out. One more round. Active recovery is gonna be fun. Get ready for it. Last round, set, go. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go into my cross body climbers to keep the oblique action happening. Been hitting them a lot lately. Halfway through already, guys. Wherever you are, no matter how fast or how slow you're going, bring your knee closer to your elbows. For two, one, change. Sit on your booty, roll your wrists, fist pumps, high fives, sweat bombs. I'm giving it all to you. While you guys drink your water, I'm gonna show you our active recovery. So just a reminder, active recovery is where you are still working your body, but you're bringing your heart rate down. My heart is on overdrive right now because we just ended with cardio. So I'm gonna take a slow breath right now. Use that anytime you need it, all right? We're gonna start with windmills. So feet are gonna be just about shoulder width distance apart. I have mine just a little bit wider. You're gonna extend your arms out to straight. So you want your wrists to be in line with your shoulders. You're just going to inhale, hinge at your hips, and then reach opposite hand for your opposite ankle. You're gonna drive your heels into the mat, squeeze your glutes to lift up, coming right back to where you were. Inhale, lower tap. Exhale, use your lower body strength to come right back up. We're doing that for 45 seconds. And then you're gonna go into your plank reach. So you're starting in your high plank. You're going to extend one arm out in front of you. As you exhale, use your core strength, drive your hips up, reach for your opposite ankle. I told you I was doing a lot of oblique stuff. Same thing on the other side. Your core strength is what's driving your hips up so that you can go into that side body twist. We're gonna start with our windmills, okay? So come up to standing. I want you all to go slow. Focus on engaging all the muscles in your legs so that you can engage your core a little bit more to come up, all right? Extend your arms all the way out. And then as you inhale, you're going to come down, reach opposite hand to opposite ankle. Squeeze and lift. Inhale, lower, tap. Exhale, squeeze, engage, lift. And then just repeat. You can go at your own pace. I'm trusting that you're all going slow. I want that squeeze at the very top to be the tightest so that your hips come forward just a little bit more. Nicely done, everybody. We're down to our last 15 seconds. Keeping your core engaged. So remember, belly is into your spine. Your spine is nice and long. Almost done with three, two, one. Last one, come up to standing, arms down. Drop down to your knees, 45 seconds of those plank reaches. I'll show you for the first few and then I'm gonna come up so that I have my breath for the rest of the class. Start in your high plank, everybody. Shoulders in line with your hips. Set, go. So reach forward, exhale, hips, come up. Go in the opposite direction, reach lift, twist. So going as slowly as you need to, 
focusing on control more than momentum, focusing on your strength at your core to allow the rest of your body to move. We're already way more than halfway through. My hands are slipping on this mat, making it a little bit more challenging. 10 more seconds, guys. Keep your body moving. Even if you're going really slow, you're still putting in the work. Three, two, one. Release, sit on your booty. <sighs> Treat yourself to a little bit of water if you absolutely need it. And if you don't, you're gonna go on to your backs just the way we started. So as you go onto your backs, press the entire length of your spine into the floor. So not just your spine, but also the back of your head. Allow your entire backside body to connect and blend with the floor. And then just let the earth below you support you. You're going to extend your left leg out to straight. On your inhale, bend your right knee and pull it toward your right shoulder. So you're pulling away from your rib cage down toward your right shoulder as a way to open up your right side hip. Use your upper body strength here to create the flexibility that you want. Stay for one more round of breath. Exhale. And on your inhale, point your toes up towards the ceiling. Walk your hands up your hamstring, maybe up to your calf muscle. If you have the space, grab your ankle, whatever you can reach for. I just want you to open up the back of your right leg. Still make sure though that you're pressing your entire backside body into the floor. That connection with the mat is going to help you focus a little bit more on creating that space down the back of your right leg. If you have it in you, you can lift your chest off of the floor. Look up towards your toes. Maybe use your biceps to pull a little bit harder and then release your upper body down. Relax your right leg down to the floor. Left side, bend your left knee. Same thing, you're pulling, squeezing, driving your knee away from your rib cage so that you can open up your hip. Keep your knee and your ankle in one line. Press the backside body into the floor. And then again, squeezing with all of your might, using your bicep strength, bring your elbows into your midline. And then to release, straighten out your left leg. Keep your toes pointed. Walk your hands up. Acknowledging that every side is different, right? So you may not be able to stretch this side as much as you did the other. That's no problem. Don't stress out about that. Rather, just be mindful that that's where your body is and that's the difference in, from one side to the next. And maybe pay a little bit more attention to the side that needs extra love so that you can get them to match. Pull a little bit harder if you did it on the other side. Lift your chin up, bringing your chest closer to your thigh. Lift and then release. Slowly lower your left leg down. We're going to end with happy baby. Take your feet out apart. Bend your knees to 90 degree angles. Grab the outsides of your feet and then use your upper body strength here to drive your knees closer to the floor. You're opening up your hips. You're getting into your outer thighs. You're massaging your lower back if you are taking the option to rock from side to side. Before you go into your savasana, you're gonna press the soles of your feet together. Drive your heels in towards your pelvis. Take your knees farther apart. One more little exercise to open up your inner thighs, your hips. And then to release, Go into the same shape that you were in when we started. So for me, it was my reclined bound angle. If you were in Savasana with your legs completely straight, then find yourself in that position instead. So Savasana, as I mentioned to you in the beginning of class, that's where you clear your mind, where you become grounded. You're a different kind of grounded right now. You are taking this time to celebrate the amazing things that your body can do, but you're also acknowledging that it's time to rest. We talked about balance in class. That's kind of what you need to do when, you, when it comes to your workout. So you always make these commitments to working yourself out. You make the time to build strength. You make the time to become more flexible. 
But part of the balance, part of the process and all of that is knowing when it's time to relax. And when you come to these classes, that's exactly what you were working on, finding balance between being active and allowing yourself to take the breaks. And so I'm hoping that as you lay here in the Savasana, you are not wiggling, you're not wiping any sweat, you're just letting it all flow. The less that your body moves, the more you allow yourself to surrender, the more your body will know that it's time to fully disconnect and relax. I'll give you a couple of rounds of breath on your own in peace. Make these rounds of breath the slowest you have ever taken them. If you're in your savasana and you don't have anywhere to be, you can stay in this shape for as long as you want. That's the beauty of working out from home. If you are ready though, you can slowly bring movement back to your body. If you are in your bound angle, go ahead and straighten out your legs first before you do anything else. Now go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers, rock your head from side to side. On your inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Feel the lengthening in your spine. Take one more big sip of air. And as you exhale, roll onto your right side body. Use your right bicep as a pillow. Take some time here to completely be still, just like you were in your Savasana. But this is my favorite time to think about the things in my life that I'm grateful for. And then when you are ready, push yourself up into a seat. Crisscross applesauce is the easiest for me. I'm gonna dig my hips into the floor and sit up tall. So as always, imagining my spine is growing inch by inch. Keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. Bring your chin down to your chest. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Open up your left side neck. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, chin comes down to your chest. Roll your left ear to your left shoulder. Right side of your neck should open up. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, chin comes back down. Slowly lift up your head. Open up your eyes. Give yourself a round of applause. I'm clapping for you. We've got producer Sarah clapping for you. You know what? I want to welcome Sarah actually onto the camera. Sarah's camera shy, but she is the MVP. She has been working behind the scenes to help make all of these recordings possible. Obviously, the donations that you provide for us keep this operation going, but Sarah works around the clock, not just to help us record, but to help us edit. She does so much. We're so grateful for her. If you remember her, she's also one of our managers at the Juice Bar. So thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody, for your donations, and thank you, friends. We've got Megan, Anna, Patricia, Thank you all so much for being here, working out with me. Um, stay in touch with us on social media. Please post photos of your home setup. We'd love to see what it looks like where you are. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again really soon.